particular uh, point that you were just laying out, the reason the tree is not the energy, it's not because energy is still form, still substance, right? And it's and essence is even the uh, more basic, more original than even energy, than even the you know, because energy is still you know a physical mm -hmm. something. And so, for using communication terms purely, um, the essence that it is, that it, we are, that it came forth and is, mm. is that which is even more original than, than energy. That's why it, <clears throat> you wouldn't say it is the energy of the tree. Correct. Yeah. The, um, all things that are alive are alive because I am in them, because you are in them. Because you are that you are that which is bringing that energy uh, to uh, its creative um, climax. You're you're bringing that energy into a place of the greens and the yellows and the, the, all the different trees and bushes and animals and it's 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 all coming forth. Everything in creation has come forth from essence. Not from energy, from essence. Um, and a tree can get chopped down and you can burn it in a fire and that energy returns to where it came from and rises up in another tree. This is not, um, but uh, the form will always recognize the form, essence will always recognize essence. So as a form, you recognize uh, other people, male and female, black and white and Asian and whatever it is. But as essence, you don't recognize the, the form. The avatar can recognize other avatars. Oh, look, I like that avatar. That avatar's cute. But it's the, the essence that you see beyond that form. And when you, you can only see beyond the form, when you see beyond your own. When you recognize that you are not the form, but that is simply the avatar that you are animating, you are bringing animation to. Now you, you, as a perceptional avatar, can experience those senses and enjoyments and attractions and so on and so forth. But it's coming from a place of, I see what's within you. I see what's beyond just that form. This is not who you are. This is not who you are at all. And uh, as that form's going to shift and it's going to change both physically and emotionally. It's the, the mind is going to shift and change that form. It's, going, it's impermanent. But what is bringing animation to it is not. And when you really begin to understand what is bringing animation to it, now you actually begin to, begin to play in that form much more. So that's, that's what I was talking about playing in the playground. Now I'm beginning to play in that thing. Um, and have my experiences widened because it's not my ex experience anymore it's not just the avatars having an experience in the world but I am the world that is experiencing the avatar can you grab a couple pieces of wood and throw that on there awesome Yeah, yeah, just whatever. Cause it'll uh, mm -hmm. get, it's gonna start getting chilly in a minute. Yeah. That's why I wanted to start that thing. Should I get another? I would put two more on there. Mm hmm. Hmm. You want to blow on it? <laughs> you want to get it going, huh? <laughs> It'll come. Those boards will catch pretty quick. They burn fast. So, when you're talking about experiencing the tree as the tree, um, what's been happening to me and Kev is, since, since I asked that question, like I said, that was trippy yesterday, if I tune into it, I can feel like I recognize myself in things. But, like, if I look at a tree, I feel like I can see myself in it. 
but at the same time, I, I can experience my body, and I know what it's like to be in my body, but I don't know what it's like to be in a tree. Um, so I'm, I'm asking what the... There's, a, there's still a difference. Like, I can see myself in it, but I'm not experiencing yeah. it. Yeah, who's, who's the eye that, that has never experienced what it is to be the essence of the tree? You, what you're, you, that's a, see, that's why we're here. Because what, what's happening is there's still the immediate, fee, uh, the, uh, the ego immediately wants to return to the I that's having the per, that perceives. So the ego immediately says, uh, "Who I? I am perceiving this, and I don't have the knowledge or the information of what it's like to experience this thing." Well, actually, you, who you truly are has been animating all these things forever. Your conscious awareness has become shifted to just being that in the avatar instead of it being uh, that which is animating it. So the more that that is realized, again, one of the things that is important is, uh, is... you don't speak to ego. I don't have any desire to speak to ego. When you speak to ego, you just empower it. Ego goes, yeah, look at me. I'm getting attention. Oh, yeah. Um, but when you speak to essence and one hasn't recognized the essence, just frustration comes. Just frustration. Lots and lots and lots of frustration. It's the reason why I was saying during the last mentorship class that if you're going to take anything serious, take awakening serious. I, I, I love having fun. I love playing. But there are also many, many things that are to be taken serious, and, and awakening is at the top of that list. It's the simple realization of who you are should absolutely be taken serious because that enables and empowers you to be able to play. Because until you realize who you are, you will always be going back and forth, back and forth between misery and happiness, stress and anxiety and fears and frustrations, and you will just go back and forth over and over and over, around and around and around on that merry-go-round of misery. So realizing who you are is what actually empowers this perpetual pleasure. Because you are the perpetual pleasure that is now animating this avatar that's playing and experiencing the world perceptionally that's beautiful it's wonderful and so it's it's uh, it's vital to realize that because it's only the avatar's consciousness that's saying I don't know what it's like the mind that's in the, I don't know what it's like to be in that tree of course the mind does not know what it's like to be in that tree because the mind has never been in that tree the mind has only been in this body in this avatar it runs the body it runs the avatar but who's beyond that Essence is beyond the mind. It's the, the awareness of who you truly are is beyond the awareness of the mind, the perceptional abilities of the mind and the, and the, the uh, faculties of the mind. So when I look at a tree and I see myself in it, then my ego is jumping and saying, but I don't really know what it's like to be in it. Like that, that is some sort of essence awareness getting when you say you see yourself in the tree do you see yourself in the tree yourself in the tree because if you see yourself in the tree you know that you are the one that fills it all right does essence where is essence not so if essence is everywhere where is essence not? Well, then you are already there. So I'm just wondering, who is the one that you see in the tree? Or as the tree, do you see Austin? 
Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. Give us a thumbs up, comment, thoughts, questions in the section below. Let us know what you want to hear from us. Subscribe to our channel for more life-changing content. And as always, check the section below for our website, for live events, where we'll be, what we're up to, more about us, and our online school website is listed below as well. We love you. We're glad you're here. We want to hear from you. We're in this with you.